Hey everybody, it's Kit here. Happy Monday and welcome back to Through the Veil, Alice's Story. Um, so today, this is pretty much the aftermath of her giving birth. There, there's a lot of pictures of baby because I love this baby. Um, a little bit on the shorter side, I think, but the subject matter is pretty poignant for her story, I think. So, yeah. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, and without further ado, let's jump into it. Baby Alec was rarely alone. When Alice had to stay at the hospital overnight for a post-C-section complications, Evie was more than happy to babysit. Tickle, tickle, tickle! Peek-a-boo! peek a -boo. His laughs filled her tower and made her heart sing with joy. Evie had always loved children, and her good friend's newborn was no exception. Seeing his little face light up with innocent love and curiosity, well, that made everything she had done worth it and was going to do worth it. Don't worry, baby. Your mama does love you, okay? She's going to be okay, and so are you. You have a beautiful life ahead of you, filled with adventure and love. Your mama just needs to heal a little bit, all right? We gotta be patient. And a few days later, Alice was back home and declared ready to be a mother. Everyone congratulated her via phone calls, hugs, visits, and texts. She didn't feel ready, though. She didn't know what she was doing. She had been an only child. She didn't have any baby cousins. Was this mother thing supposed to just click? All Alec did was cry when she held him, but he loved Evie. He loved Evie's handmade onesie and giggled when Evie put him in it, but Alice couldn't even change his diaper without tears. I'm sorry, babe. Alec. Oh, how, do, how do I do this? Her own baby didn't even like her, and it felt awful. Alec, please. I'm trying. I promise. It took her several days to figure out how to change a diaper properly. Evie was great and helpful, never pushing or taking over. She helped when Alice asked. Alice still felt super insecure. How was she supposed to do this? She was single, broke, no job, and she couldn't even keep her own baby happy. Her baby that she carried. Her baby that she didn't want. Her baby that was half Adam. She tried to remain upbeat even though he cried. Told herself that the next time it would be better. The next bottle he wouldn't refuse. The next cuddle he wouldn't scream. It was hard to keep up hope. She tried to spend time in the same room with him even though it was hard. He reminded her of Sam Maishuno, of Adam of memories and regrets she'd rather forget. But she wasn't pregnant anymore, and she felt better about that. She was able to do things again, like helping around the tower and cooking. Evie had shown her some tricks, and her dishes were slowly getting better. And slowly, slowly, Alec didn't cry as much. Her thoughts may remain the same, but if she could fake it until she made it, then that was something. She tried a few new things too, like flower arranging. It was nice to try something new, in a safe space. It allowed her to focus on things other than her lack of connection to her own baby. Her son. 
When Alice went out or needed a break, Evie silently covered baby duty. She saw her friend's struggles. She knew Alice just needed time. She needed support, and Evie would gladly give it. But, maybe... Maybe she needed her parent, too. Hey, Alec? Would you like to meet your grandpa soon? An innocent smile was his response. And one night, one night, Alice was able to smile at her baby, even though she was dying inside. Fake it until you make it. Maybe by doing that, maybe she would be able to bond with her son. Just maybe. And that is actually going to be the end of today's segment. Um, so some pretty exciting things coming up, actually. Because, uh, you know, I take I, I played like a whole bunch. Like the last five episodes. <laughs> I played all in one consecutive go. Pretty much. Um, it, I, I just really enjoy playing their household. Um, so, yeah. Um, things are slowly taking a turn for Alice. Slowly. She's, she's having to work through some things. Um, and I would like to read y'all the um, mood lit that is on the screen. Difficult feelings. It is hard to be near a child who inspires much more panic and sadness than it does joy. It's not the child's fault. It's not necessarily the parent's fault either. Were Alice to try to explain it to others, she would be met with nothing but horror and judgment. Yet, how is one supposed to force themselves to not feel the sadness they feel? And to feel a happiness they do not? And perhaps there is love for this child somewhere within Alice. Perhaps, but as of now, cannot be found or felt overrun by upset. And I think that, again, I have no experience in this as a only child, do not have kids, da 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 da, all that, no cousins, no nothing. But I do know that mothers do feel this way. You know, I mean, is it? supposed to just click you know um not all babies all babies may be born the same way but mothers don't all feel the same way you know and I think it is important to remember feelings are valid and feelings suck (laughs) sometimes they can be very overwhelming on either side of the spectrum um but I'm proud of Alice for showing up Because, holy smokes, the emotional turmoil this poor Sam is feeling with this child. And yet, she and Evie were fighting in the queue of who was going to be there when he was crying. So, it, it, it gives me hope that hopefully things will work out. I have, I tried and tried and tried to get her to bond. And nope, not, not happening. And it may very well not happen um while he is a bassinet baby and i'm not too sure how that works after she's one of the first sims that i've had uh where they were pregnant without wanting to be pregnant and like she has the baby um so we will see how this goes i am very interested to see where it goes so yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, segment. I think Alex is so cute. And I think this is probably my first baby born, technically, um, after the whole genetics thing. So that's kind of cool. He's just a little wrinkly baby. And he's adorable. So yeah, anyway. um, I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye, guys.